I'm Clark Collis, Entertainment Weekly senior writer and self-certified television scientist. In this glorious modern ecosystem of peak TV, there exists ample opportunity for many species of show to thrive. One such example that's seen prominence recently is the reboot. Existing shows gloriously, or not so gloriously, brought back from the past to entertain the audiences today. But not all reboots are created equal. Let's examine the different species of reboots in the Entertainment Weekly Field Guide. First up is the full reboot. This species of show retains the name and premise of the original, but without any common characters or storylines. Think of it as a full remake made from the DNA of the original show, but nothing more. Examples of this species include The Odd Couple, MacGyver, and Norman Lear's reboot of his own classic sitcom, One Day at a Time. Next up, we have the soft reboot. Like the full reboot, this show aims to recreate the premise of the original, but still maintains some connective narrative tissue to the original show in the form of characters, settings, or storylines. To spot this show in the wild, look for slight variations in title, subtle nods to the original, and pilots that feature major cameos that won't appear again. Examples that fall into this species include 24 colon Legacy, Girl Meets World, Dallas, and 90210 without the Beverly Hills. A newer species of reboot in the past few years defies the very concept of a reboot, the continuation. Distant cousins to the reunion show, the continuation is technically the next season of a beloved show reanimated with original actors and storylines, often making a plot point of missing years between. The prime examples of the continuation reboot are The X-Files, Prison Break, and of course this year's Twin Peaks, which essentially predicted its own continuation in the original run. I'll see you again in 25 years. One species of show that should be noted is not in the reboot genus is the spin-off. While having many of the traits of the reboot, like borrowed characters, shared universe, and crossover storylines, these shows take place at the same time or immediately after the shows off which they've been spun and therefore do not classify as reboots. So, next time you catch a reboot in the wilds of streaming sites or the confines of network TV, you'll be able to identify just what type it is. This has been Clark Collis. Put down that Bunsen burner.